a lot of good gear is out there and new ones comes along more often than I change my underwear. Not true. But for them to be legendary, I mean, that's another story completely. And I'm talking about gear famous on a bigger scale and more well known than, than, than this channel. <laughs> now, that isn't too difficult maybe, but what I'm trying to say is that some gear reaches a legendary status because they have been proven many times over and over again on the trail and has become more or less synonymous with hiking and especially ultralight hiking. These are the ones we will talk about during today's episode and if you haven't heard about these five pieces of gear, I mean, where have you been in the past five years? Stay tuned for a legendary episode. Even if you are an ultralight hiker or not, these five pieces of gear is something all hikers most likely would appreciate and to be able to use. They have been tested and proven many times over and more than I can count. But not only that, I will also give you five additional items that almost made it to the list. And a few of them are really good budget-friendly options for you on a tight budget. Here is the first gear up of the five legends. Number one on the list is a stove, a canister stove that is as good as it gets and lightweight enough to fit into any gear setup. The Windmaster, yep, if used with a Triflex pot stand, it only weighs in at merely 67 grams or 2.36 ounces. It is the best one in wind, the best one in high altitudes, and with the quickest boiling times and at the same time very fuel efficient and also good enough for cooking with the very excellent micro regulator valve system. It was the highest rated stove on the PCT during 2019 and voted the best all around canister stove by Off The Grid during 2022. You can't go wrong with the Windmaster and therefore I hereby declare it legendary. The second one is not one piece of gear, but a lineup of gear made by the same manufacturer but made for different conditions. They are all sleeping pads and they are all made by Thermarest. The ones I'm talking about is Uberlite, X-Lite and Ectherm, inflatable sleeping pads. All of them are made for different conditions and all of them with an extraordinary warmth to weight ratio and that makes them the lightest pads available and at the same time with maintained and supreme comfort. Summertime, Uberlite at 2.3 in our value. Spring or autumn or for cold sleepers also for summertime, X-Lite at 4.5. Wintertime or for really cold sleepers like me all year around, X-Therm at 7.3 in our value. You can't go wrong choosing your pads from Thermarest and I therefore and hereby declare them legendary. The third one is a bit debatable because I could have chosen almost any piece of gear from this company, a company so well known it is almost impossible to talk about ultra light gear without mentioning them in the same breath. The brand I'm talking about is of course Seed Packs and the one gear I added to the legendary list is the duplex tent. The duplex is the lightest two-person tent on the market and with room enough for two or a cost of for one. And it has won more awards than, than, than Steven Spielberg. At 525 grams and the two vestibules was not to like. For this and for being one of the most loved tents for a very long time, I announce it to be legendary. For item number four, it is now time to go into the smaller things. And it all started back in 2017 with the release of a headlamp that since then has been the go-to for many hikers. The one I'm talking about is of course the famous NU25 in the 2017 version from Nightcore. A small but yet powerful headlamp with good output, nice battery and loads and loads of features, making it useful not only in camp but also for late night hikes and early starts. At only 35 grams, with an easy to make DIY headband, it is still the preferable choice for many hikers, including me, despite that Nightcore during 2022 released an updated NU25 and the NU25UL. Despite the bit corny design, I hereby declare it legendary. Before we move on to the final legendary piece of gear and before I give you that additional five items, could I please have a moment of your time by pointing out that if you like my content, it would be highly appreciated if you also subscribe to the channel. And for an even better support, you could also use the super thanks button to give a small donation. The money given will then be spent on gear for reviews and such. So if you want me to keep up the good work, use the super thanks button. Now. Let's proceed. 
The final item and item number five on our legendary list is one famous from being difficult to pronounce. Nobody seems to know if it pronounces Sinok or Knok, but if you know, leave a comment. Anyways. Sinok Vector water container is one of the best choices of container for many water filters out there and comes with a big opening in the end for easy filling and either a 42 mm thread in the end for the B3 or a 28 mm for the Soy Squeeze, Mini or Micro or the Hydro Blue filters, just to mention a few. It also comes in a variety of sizes, so I'm sure you will find one suitable for your needs. For the design and for being compatible with most filters out there and for being a good and reliable solution for water storage, I hereby declare it legendary. I'm not saying either one of these legendary pieces of gear are better than anything else, but they are famous for a reason. Some for being the most ultralight option and others for being the most efficient and reliable alternative and sometimes both. Some of the gear I do own myself, like the N25, the Ektherm, the Windmaster and the Sinoc bags and them being well proven and famous is one of the reasons I bought them in the first place. And most of them are also included in my gear setup and I do enjoy using them. Now to the final moments of this episode and to the five pieces of gear you could almost call legendary. They are at least very famous pieces of gear I could recommend you checking out. As an alternative to the legends or just because they are so cheap. Here are the five additional items. BRS 3000T stove. World's lightest stove at 25 grams and super cheap. Toke titanium pot. A big variety of sizes, super light and reliable titanium cookware. Lanshan tents. One and two person budget friendly ultralight tents. The Cotlon Trek 100, also called the MT100 down jacket. A very warm and budget friendly option. Worth every penny. Frog Togs rain gear. In different variations and a very budget friendly option as well. Not the best performer maybe and not the ones that we lost a lifetime, but they are very cheap. These five legendary and these five additional pieces of gear is not the complete list of gear being famous in the ultralight community. But since I didn't want to make a 20 minute long video, I thought it would be a good idea if you could make this long list even longer by leaving a comment. Add your favorite piece of gear that you recommend or a gear that you believe should have been on the legendary list. But for now, this is it. And if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I hope to see you again next week, but for now, take care, safe hiking and bye bye.